Hello everyone. So we are having s plus y equals to 20 and uh, s times y equals to 44. So let's solve together by saying solution. So here we can write s plus y equals 20. Let's call this equation 1 and s times y as 44. I will note that to be equation 2. So from equation 1, we can write that y is equal to 20 minus s. And let's also call that equation 3. So from here, we're going to say, let's put equation 3 into equation 2. So equation 2 will become s into 20 minus s is equal to 44. So if we open up the bracket, therefore we have 20s minus s squared minus 44 equal to 0. That means we allow 44 to cross over to this other side. And here we are going to write first the highest power of s, which is minus s squared plus 20s minus 44 equal to 0. Since the coefficient of the highest power of s is negative, we multiply through the equation by minus 1. Minus 1 times minus s squared will be s squared. This becomes 20 minus 20s and this is equal to 0, 44 equals to 0. And here, this is a typical quadratic equation and that is solvable using the quadratic formula that says s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over a and from our equation a is equal to 1 b minus 20 and c is 44. So if we substitute our value, s therefore will be equal to minus minus 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 squared minus 4 times 1 times 44. All over 2 since a is 1. So if we solve on s will be equals to 20 minus times minus is plus plus square root of minus 20 squared is 400 minus 4 times 44 that is 176 all over 2. And the next line will be s equals to 20 plus or minus 400 minus 176. That will be 224. Remember, it's square root over 2. Here, s will be equals to 20 plus or minus square root of 16 times 14 all over 2. Since 224 can be equal to 16 times 14. And that is fine. And also remember that when we have square root of A times B is given also as A square root of A times square root of B. So, S therefore will be 20 plus or minus square root, square root of 16 times square root of 14 all over 2. So, S is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. Then square root of 14 
over 2. So 16 is a perfect square and 14 is not. So we retain the square root of 14 as this. So next s will be equal to 20 plus or minus 4 root of 14 over 2 and here also over 2. So s equals to 20 over 2 is 10 plus or minus 2 can cancel out 4. They will be left with 2 square root of 14. So the value of s, s1, will be equals to 10 plus 2 square root of 14. And s2 will be equals to 10 minus 2 square root of 14. So for y, from equation 3, y is given to be 20 minus s. So for y1 to be equal to 20 minus s1. So y1 is equal to 20 minus s1 is 10 plus 2 root 14. And if you open this up to be 20 minus 10 minus 2 root 14, that is y1. And y1 equals to 20 minus 10, that is 10 minus 2 root 14. And y2 will be equal to 20 minus s2, which is equal to 20 minus s2 is 10 minus 2 root 14. And if you work on this, because 2, y2 is equal to 20 minus 10 plus 2 root 14. So y2 is equal to 20 minus 10, that is 10, plus 2 root 14. Alright, so our values s1, y1 is equal to 10 plus 2 root 14 10 minus 2 root 14 S2 Y2 will to 10 minus 2 root 14 and Y2 10 plus 2 root 14 is our values for x1 and y1 and s2 and y2 so to verify if to verify this we have our original equation as s plus y equals to 20 and sy equals to 44 so we use the first set of the values we got for s and y so for first equation, we show 1, it will therefore be 10 plus 2 root 14 plus 10 minus 2 root 14, it is equals to 20. So if you open up the bracket, you have 10 plus 10 because minus 2 root 14, you cancel out plus 2 root 14 which is equals to 20. Eventually 10 plus 10, which is 20, is equal to 20. So this satisfies the first equation. And the second equation will be SY equals to 44, which is given as 10 plus 2 root 14 times 10 minus 2 root 14, it is equals to 44. So from algebra, we have a plus b times a minus b 
as a squared minus b squared. And this is the form of this, where a is 10 and b is 2 root 14. a is 10 minus 2 root 14, which is b. So here, we're going to write as a is 10 squared minus b 2 root 14 squared. It is equals to 44. So if we simplify further, 10 squared is 100 minus 2 squared is 4. Since the square on root 14 can cancel out the square root to be left with 14, it is equal to 44. So here, 400 minus 4 times 4, 16. And 4 carry 1, 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, 5. It is equal to 44. So 100 minus 56, that is 44, is equal to 44. So in conclusion, the value of S and Y that we got actually satisfy the, the two equations. Bye-bye.